Welcome to Pops with Props, the video series where we get to know our Huron professors. My name is Matson Kitamisi, your Huron Student Council President, and I'm here today with Dr. Thomas Peace. So, Dr. Thomas Peace, uh, to start things off, thank you for joining us today. Um, so, we're going to ask you a very important question. What is your favorite type of pops? Well, thanks for having me today, Matson, and my favorite type of pop is root beer. Rupier, great, so fancy. Uh, well, it just happened so fast that we have uh, an ice cold Rupier here with us today. Excellent. Uh, Vanessa. Thank you. That's how we do things here at Chiron. We only have the best for our professors. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me, Matson. So, Dr. Pace, to get uh, things started. We are going to ask you some uh, speed round questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Favorite type of food? Uh, pizza. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Name one item you can live without. My phone. <laughs> Favorite TV show? Oh boy. MASH. Which subject were you worst at in school? Music. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Favorite day of the week? Friday. Describe yourself in just one word. Enthusiastic. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get into some of the more uh, serious questions. First of all, tell me about yourself and where you're from and what leads you here at Huron. Yeah, so I grew up in Hamilton, Ontario. I was going to go to university to do mechanical engineering. Uh, back in the late 90s, and I did, I actually did a, a weekend great books program for uh, high school students at another university, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. but that changed my career trajectory, <laughs> and uh, so I applied, uh, applied out of province to, uh, to attend university at Acadia University, where I went, and uh, decided to do history, which is something that I've all, I'd, I had developed a passion for, and uh, I went on to do a master's, a PhD, and, mm -hmm. uh, and then I was able to get a job at, uh, fortunate enough to get a job at Huron in 2014. And we are here so lucky to have you yeah. here at Huron. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what do you like to do outside of your work? Um, the, the thing that I like to do the most is just, just get outside. And so I ride my bike mm -hmm. back and forth between Huron and my house, but I also like to, I like to go for runs and hikes. And, and probably my favorite thing to do in London, which is relatively new for me, uh, but I like to canoe uh, the Deshkan Zibi or Thames River, which flows uh, just, by, uh, just by our campus. And so to get out and see, the, mm -hmm. see our city by uh, the river is one of my favorite things. And you get to bike and tour the whole city and uh, enjoy the yeah, tour. Yeah, exactly. So how long have you been working here at Chiron and what program do you teach? Yeah, so I'm the chair of the history department right now, and I've been here for eight years. Um, mm -hmm. I came in 2014, and I primarily teach Canadian history and uh, the history of settler colonialism in North America. Uh, what's uh, your favorite aspect uh, of your program? My favorite, the, the best part about history at Huron is that we are a, a department that is engaged in the community. And so what that means is that we uh, do a lot of work with community partners mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, and we also try to get our students out into the community. So students in our classes go to local museums and archives, but also uh, we try to bring our students out into the world and to try to introduce them to how history is made in, of course, time uh, in the past, but also in, in terms of place. So mm -hmm. our history program takes students to uh, the UK every second year as part of a program called Phantoms of the Past, wow. which looks at uh, the histories of slavery and freedom. Uh, and uh, So we get to travel and go to Yeah, to exactly. You. Wow, that's, that's really um, amazing. And what, what have you learned while teaching uh, into this program? I've learned that history is relational. And so what I mean by that is uh, when you think about, about a historian, you mm -hmm. think of somebody who goes into archives, who reads a lot, who um, um, works by themselves, but that's really not how history is produced. History uh, exists in communities, mm -hmm. um, and members of those communities understand their past, past in a very personal way, 
And, uh, and I think as a historian, one of the really important uh, aspects of our job is that we need to meet people where, where they're at with their understanding mm -hmm. of their history. And, and so that's, that's something I've really learned over my eight years at Huron because several of my colleagues in the history department um, had cultivated that, kind of, that community focus uh, in the years before I arrived. And, and, and so I've learned from them, Professor Reed Maroney, uh, mm -hmm. Doug Layton, and Professor Bell in particular. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, while learning and uh, enjoying your career, uh, what do you like best about being a professor? I like, I, I just love uh, working with students and also being uh, in place with students. So off campus or even, Huron has a great uh, um, forest behind its campus. <laughs> yeah, the and jungle. So, <laughs> so I really like taking students back there and teaching my classes in the, in the woods. Wow. And the reason why I like that is, is twofold. First is it gets us doing something different and it allows students to change their uh, perspective on mm -hmm. learning. So it takes you out of your expectation, kind of the learning environment that you're expecting and takes you into a new one. And I think that uh, helps students learn. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also allows us to engage in a little bit more of an organic way with each other, which I think is really important and something mm -hmm. that, uh, that we can offer because we're a small, relatively small uh, university college. Exactly. And you get to, uh, students also get to, uh, you know, experience that kind of uh, um, learning, uh, being outside, enjoying, exploring the nature while, you know, listening to uh, the lecture and while engaging with the professor, which is actually something unique. Um, yeah, so, you know, just kind of on to the same um, points. Um, tell me about one of your favorite memories while working here at Huron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I have uh, several memories. Mm -hmm. um, the most exciting memory that I have is in 2019, just before the pandemic, the summer of 2019, just before the pandemic, I took four of our students up to Manitoulin Island as part mm -hmm. of the Manitoulin Island Summer Historical Institute. We spent a week there uh, working uh, collaboratively and learning collaboratively uh, with partners from the Ojibwe Cultural Foundation and from York University and, and, and from other campuses and, and First Nations. And what I really took away from that uh, was the ability to connect my own work in this area, my own mm -hmm. research in this area, with my students' interests. And uh, it was a wonderful uh, week that we got to spend on Manitoulin Island. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this actually leads us to another question. Um, who is someone here at Turon who is, uh, that has impacted your life and why? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I'm hesitant to name just one, just one person. Yeah. Uh, but I think, I, I mean, I think I'll ha I'd have to say my colleague Nina Reed Maroney mm -hmm. has uh, just, uh, Nina and I have worked together quite closely for almost the entire time I mm -hmm. uh, have been at Huron. And uh, she's just such a wonderful person who has a presence about her that draws people in. And, and I think she's probably the person, when I think about it, the person who I've uh, modeled my own uh, scholarly practice on Mm -hmm. uh, the most directly. I, I think it's probably her, but of course I don't really want to discount them. We, 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 we have a really great <laughs> community in the history, in the history yeah, program. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I definitely, uh, I gotta give a shout out to all my colleagues <laughs> in, the, in the history, in the history program. So uh, on that note, what, what's the best piece of ad advice that you have ever been given? The best piece of advice I think I've ever been given. Yes. Again, would like to know that. Yeah. yeah. Is, is, um, to do the work that you have before you sooner rather than later. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> to do it when you have the Don't day. procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. <laughs> and uh, and if, you ha if you find yourself thinking, I don't have much to do, go do something, you know, start ticking off things uh, that you might have to do in the future. Well, I think it's a Benjamin Franklin quote, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is it? Don't leave for tomorrow what you can do today. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I've really tried to live by that because I think um, it's pretty easy to yeah, get overwhelmed or, or life happens, right? Mm -hmm, and so, yeah, so yeah. I, I can't recall anyone ever saying that to me uh, as advice, but when I think about people uh, who I look up to, 
uh, this is the one of the traits that I see that I think is really important. Just one last question. Okay. If, um, let's say if this video goes viral and millions of people get to watch it, uh, what do you want to say to them? <laughs> This video goes viral, I'll fall, I'll fall, I'll fall off my chair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll be shocked that people want to hear that much from me. But um, the piece that I think Huron tries to live is this community of scholars. And the way that you build a community, I think, mm -hmm. is by being kind and being generous. And uh, I'm going to drink for that. Yeah. <laughs> and buying, or, or and um, this is one of the key life skills mm -hmm. that uh, that a university an undergraduate university experience should be trying to foster and build is empathy for our neighbors and um, and that's if there's one if there's one thing that mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. that uh, that you know we can end this on I think that that would be it if this were to go viral and everyone were to see this I think I, I would hope that this video might inspire them to uh, be kinder and gentler with others, and to um, and to and to understand that people are on different paths than than they might be. Well, Dr. Peace, thank you so very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Yeah, Matson, thanks. Well, Fox, <laughs> that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you soon on Pops with Props. Cheers. All right, cheers. Thanks, Matson. <laughs> <laughs>